Okay, we are going to, I know some of you watched my live the other night. We're going to make another pom-pom because I need one more. And for those that didn't join, at least they'll be able to see how we made them. Now this is a clover pom-pom maker. Okay, and what, what you're going to do is you're going to pull out two sides one way. All right, and we're going to start wrapping. I'm making a smaller one because I have, I need one more small one. I have two large here and two little ones. You want me to zoom in so you guys can see it better? Let me know if that works for you, okay? And again, I'm having trouble seeing comments, so if I miss, I will go back and answer at the end. And if you wouldn't mind spreading the love by hitting that S button, I'd really appreciate it. And if you aren't subscribed here, you need to subscribe, if you would please. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, the link is posted in the comments. I'm going to throw that on the floor because I don't want it rolling around my table. So the object is, is to just keep wrapping. Easy peasy. How many watched the other night when I made them? I mean, we did the kissing ball, but then I was showing you how to make a pom-pom because I have a project we're going to do today, and I need pom-poms and cardboard. I actually cut out some cardboard hearts, okay? I have some really heavy-duty scissors, so they cut through that cardboard really easy. It's a real heavy-duty cardboard, which is what I wanted to use, so I need my heavy-duty scissors. They were the scissors I used for reupholstering motorcycle seats and snowmobile seats. A local gentleman taught me how to do those, and they came in handy. Okay, I'm going to shut one side and I'm going to lift open the other side. And then I'm going to continue wrapping on that side, but I'm trying not to get that little ledge right there. Okay, so we're just going to keep wrapping. And any sharing of my page that you can do, I really, really appreciate it. Facebook is changing the rules, so as far as sending out announcements ahead of time, I probably won't be doing that. And if I ever get kicked off of here, the only place you'll find me will be on YouTube. So if you go in and subscribe, hit the link, it'll take you right to my YouTube channel and subscribe because that may be where I end up doing most of my lives. And I went shopping again today and I found some really great items that we're going to be doing and I think I'm only going to do it on YouTube so you'll want to watch all right so I'm shutting both sides all right now I didn't bring down my little scissors did I nope all right so now you see how it is. It's wrapped. It's closed. Okay. Let me just make sure I'm not missing any of your comments. Hey, Dawn. Yeah. That's about what it is here, and it's getting colder. And we had about four inches of snow overnight, and it's slowly disappearing. So I think it's going to go away, which is fine by me. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to trim up the middle of this pom-pom maker. I'm trying to keep it in line. But let me warn you, these darn things can get addicting. Now if you'll see, there's like a channel up the middle. Can you see it? That is where we're going to tie our tie to hold the pom-pom together. So you really want to get this tight here. So 
I make sure I tie super tight and in a good knot. There we go. I want to leave a little bit hanging on there because I might need it. Now again, these are by Clover. Anywhere, any sewing place is going to sell these. And now you're just going to pull it apart. Okay. And there you go. You've got your little pom-pom. Now what I do is I kind of squeeze it and then I go around and I even up the layers to make sure everything's even. gives your pom-pom a little bit of uniformity. Is that a word? There. There's our pom-pom. Okay. Thank you, Rita. Rita's one of the designers in our group, Team of Dream Designers, and so is Dawn. Rita has Rita's Wreath Barn. Dawn has Wreath Decor by Dawn, and Rita just got a, a sublimation printer, so she is now making signs, wreath signs, and she's doing some awesome looking ones. I have a big project this month. We have a baby coming in February, and I'm in charge of the decorations for the shower, so Rita's going to help me put a sign on the wreath I'm making. For my new grandson that's coming. And Dawn does wreaths and flower arrangements. If you guys aren't following their pages, you'll want to. If you're interested in joining our, our group, I'm sure. Um, hi, Joy. Hi, Jace. I'm sure that um, Dawn or Rita can put that link up for you. It's $19.95 a month. We've got um, Trending Designs by Sandy Pastor. We've got um, also Susan with um, AC Inspired Reese. We have whew, Carla Young with um, the One Stop Boutique. Myself, LaVon, Forever Dreams of You by LaVon who just did her first live today, and we are so proud of her. All right, so what I've done is I've taken a piece of rope here, and it's, you can see, it's it's longer than a yard, okay? I made a little slip knot in one end. This is for hanging, and then on this end, I taped it because I wanted to run it through this big needle. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the red and we're going to make some hearts. Now I cut out three hearts here, two small and one large. And all we're going to do is wrap them. Now you know what? My hands are so messed up. I sell this in my shop. This is by far like the best hand cream out there. It doesn't even burn if you have a crack on your hands. Let me just make sure I have the volume turned down on this. I hope I do. No, I don't. So how am I not getting an echo? Okay. All right. Hi, Paula. Welcome. How are you? All right. So what I'm doing is I'm making kind of like a farmhouse um, wall hanging. I have a really long light fixture in my kitchen and I hung up my kissing ball up there and I want to take this rope and I want to put all these items on there, string it across and have a nice display in my kitchen. So, what we're going to do, we're going to start off by just putting a spot of glue on here. And all we're going to do is just totally wrap this heart. We're going to go all the way around 
a bunch of times until it's totally covered. Now if you wanted, you could, um, so now it's slipping there, so I'm just going to put another little spot of glue in here just so I can get the bottom of it covered. keeps wanting to go back in the same places. So all you're doing is just wrapping it. That makes for a nice farmhouse appearance. Now I could have, and I didn't, I could have painted this red so I can really disguise it. But I think because this yarn is a little bit thick, I think I'll be able to cover it totally. So we're actually going to do three of these. And I probably could have done one, but I wanted you to see how long it took for the whole project. Woo! Hi, Bobby! Bobby has no school. And I'm sure Bobby is extremely happy. And I'm sure she's got her cricket out. If she doesn't, I'll be shocked. So all we're doing is just wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. And like I said, if you need to put a little spot of glue here occasionally to keep it from slipping, go ahead and do that. But this is all you're going to do. Just like you would if you're wrapping up a ball of yarn. You know how when you take it out and you roll it into a ball? This just makes it extra special because it's handmade. You, I'm sure, have got cardboard hanging around the house and I'm sure you got yarn. So this is an easy project because it's all items that most people have in their home. How's my Lulu doing? Bobby is one of my puppy parents. She has Lulu. And there's no rhyme or reason to how you... Oh. Hi Lulu. How's Mama Robin's girl? Hey, sweet pea. She knows her Mama Robin. See, all I'm trying to do is totally fill in the holes where I can see the cardboard. And like I said, if, if this were painted red, it probably would cover a lot easier. And my husband has off today too. He's a part-time bus driver. He's retired. Okay, I gotta glue it on this side because it's slipping. So you can see how it's covering up pretty good. Oh no! Oh, her mom has hand handled hers pretty good, so I think she'll do okay. I just want to push it over a little. Isn't this gonna look adorable? See, I I have decorations for my outside of my house because I have a small in-home business. So what I'm just trying to do is think of ways I can decorate the inside of the house, just small ways of decorating. And like I said, if you haven't um, joined my YouTube channel, you're going to want to because I hit the jackpot today and I've got a lot of projects planned with what I found today. So, and see this is just a simple piece of cardboard. So you don't need to run out and get anything. Most of you have yarn in the house and you don't necessarily have to use red. 
I chose red because I have the white pom-poms. And this is going to kind of look like farmhouse when I'm done. It should. <laughs> we hope it will. They were calling for all kinds of stuff today and we got the snow overnight and we thought more were expected this afternoon but I don't I don't see it as yet so and you don't necessarily have to put these on a garland like I'm making my own garland would this look cute in a wreath so simple wrap and glue I mean come on how much simpler can it get this wrapping of the corner is a little time consuming I'm looking for loose areas now that I need to fill in so there's a few here and did you all get a chance to see Levon? we are so proud of her she did her first live today she is one of the designers in our group and I'm telling you she is worth joining our group for she has so much knowledge of floral design and painting along with all the other designers in our group super group is what we should have called it this yarn is making my nose itch but these would make nice little additions to any wreath glue here. Can y'all see okay? okay? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down in here and tuck it under. And I think I'm going to put a little spot of glue in there so it doesn't like unravel on me. All right. Now, what I want to do is I kind of want to find the middle of my rope. Let me open you up a little more. There we go. Okay. So I'm finding the middle. All right because what I'm going to do since this is the biggest heart this is going to hang in the middle so here comes my monster needle come on don't fail me now it's got a lot of bulk to go through here but there we go once we get it through we should be golden and I want to get it up to here so I'm, I'm starting with the middle because that way I can go out from there she was awesome wasn't she look at that does that not look adorable how many of you are going to give this a try that's what I want to know look at that isn't that cute? All right. So now we have three small, let me see. How do I want this? I think we'll go with those two. And then on the side of that, we'll put the two smaller hearts. And then on the side of that, we'll put the big pom-poms yeah I like that all 
right? So I'm going to put another knot in it just so we've got it secure. And if you think it's not, you can always put a little spot of glue on it. And we could even put a little bow on here if we wanted. We are golden. All right, so now let's see how far out we want to go with it. So this should go there, and that could go there. So I'm going to say about nine inches. We're going to put this on. Is that the same size as that one? It is. So at nine inches, I'm actually going to tie this one on. Is that nine? Yeah. And I'm actually going to put a little spot of glue. I know, right? Oh, my favorite place. That's where I went, Bobby. And I got the cutest fabric. Where do you see the hearts that are going to be coming out of this place? You will be blown away. I don't want to tell you anymore because it's just awesome. It'll spoil the surprise. All right. So I'm going to trim because see, this is why I left that little, little tie on there. I could have put the needle right through the pom pom if I wanted to, but I wanted to be able to tie it at the top. All right, so let's go to 19 over here, and then we're going to tie this one right here. I was supposed to go to the ear doctor, but that was in Lewisburg, and the way that was this morning. I was not traveling because I was going to hit our, our DT over there in Lewisburg because I need a few things that this one here doesn't have. Doo -doo. There we go. Is this not looking cute? Come on, you guys all, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have to use burlap rope. I use burlap rope because I kind of like the farmhouse. How's that looking so far? And would those make cute additions to a wreath? Like, remember I showed you the other night? Look, look. Oh my gosh. That is just awesome. And that's just cardboard with yarn wrapped around it. Anybody can do that, right? Listen, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> you could. All right, so now we're gonna start on our little one kind of start like in the crease there. I think that's the best way to go. And you can have a method if you want. It doesn't really matter. You're just wrapping until you can't see that cardboard anymore. And that's what you want. You just want to cover up the cardboard. Could you not see these in a wreath? I mean, these are just awesome. I want to know where LaVon is. Where'd she go? Here I wanted to brag on her. I'm so proud of her. And I thought she'd be on here. Thank you, Donna. I appreciate that. And look, I could even throw some of these in there if I wanted to. Woohoo. Right? I'm just going slow. I hope I'm not holding anybody up. I just, I think when you go slow and tight, it just makes for a nice, nicer heart. How many of you are going to want to try this? Did I inspire anybody to want to do it? I'm going to cut that piece off cuz 
because I think it's going to get in the way. But Casey has to go have her staples removed tomorrow. Two of them have already come out on their own. She is one good mama. She's my angel. But she is one picky eater when she's had pups. She expects to be hand fed all the time. Are you going to make them? All right, Donna, you go. You go, girl. And then you send me a picture. I love it. And they just make such an easy, awesome wreath attachment, wouldn't they? I mean, that, this uh, in it, like grapevine, oh my gosh, that would just be gorgeous. Are you going to try it, Joy? Come on, Joy. I want to see you make some, too. And I am at a loss, ladies. I had to send my, my vinyl cutter off to be fixed. It is not grabbing the mats. And I don't know how long I'm going to be without it. And I'm freaking out. Because I've got all these ideas for the shower. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to print anything off. I don't know when it'll be back. <sighs> I picked it up yesterday. I made a few things, but I know it's not going to be back in time. I just know it. All right. So there we go. We're done with that. And it's just a simple wrap. I think I'm going to glue a little piece over there. I didn't see that. So I think I'm going to glue that. I just want to get this under here tucked in. Two. Are you guys loving this or what? About nine inches from the other one. All right. So think just trying to see if I could mark the yarn somehow I could I could put just a little magic marker mark on there because it'll be tucked in you won't even see it there we go awesome Did any of you guys know I've been on a diet? Thank you, Rita. Yep, since before Thanksgiving. And I have lost 12 and a half pounds. And I'm going to still keep going. So, I am so happy. I'm just taking it one step at a time. my marker now. See that? I disguised it so well now I can't even find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. And I'm just going to tie it on. There we go. And then over here we're going to put a big pom pom. I don't know where I'm going to hang it yet, but I will find a place. I may just accumulate all this stuff and then come Valentine's Day, decorate the whole ceiling in our bedroom. I started the keto. And Bobby told me about the Premier Shakes from Sam's Club, and I really like those. Uh, 
son. Does he not know his mom goes live? Now I'll call the house phone. You watch. All right. So now we're going to start. Look at, look at it so far. Is that not cute? Are you guys liking this? Yeah, I wanted to start my diet before Christmas to make myself stay on it through Christmas. And the only meal I had was um, the Christmas meal. The rest of the meals, I did all keto. And I got one of those little waffle makers and I make chaffles. Chaffles are a cheese waffle that you make with one egg and a half a cup of mozzarella cheese. And that's it. And Target sells the little waffle makers and they are awesome. I use that as my bread. Um, I use that as waffles. I love my waffle maker. Oh, I know. I've been up since like three. It's like I get all these ideas for stuff and then I sit there and then I work out the bugs and it's like, should be sleeping <laughs> not thinking up designs I there are times I just can't turn my brain off and it's so frustrating it's easier if I pull some of the yarn out ahead of time awesome that's great there's a bunch of girls in our design group that are going to do nurture systems together. So they're all excited about that. I personally can't follow that because to me, I know I'll, I'll end up eating more than I should. <laughs> so I can't follow that one. I, I like the keto. I like my bacon. And we have chickens. So I know where the eggs come from. In fact, our chickens weren't laying and I made my husband put the light on in the coop again and now they're back to laying again. So it's awesome. And I mostly eat a salad and a protein for dinner and a vegetable. So I am really doing good. And you gotta watch out if you try it, you gotta watch out for the keto flu. Usually about a weekend or so you start feeling really awful and as long as you get some like beef broth or chicken broth in you it'll go right away or they say pickle juice pickle juice is good so what I want to know is when you guys gonna join our group we had so much fun on there last night or Monday night Levon took my place because it's really hard when I'm feeding mama dogs to do my live on a Monday and then do another live thereafter and still take care of the mama dogs so she filled in for me I like making my own wreath attachments because it just makes it more personal it doesn't look like anybody else's then all right, now we'll just find a place. <laughs> I bet you did, Bobby. Bobby did a, Bobby has lost some weight, let me tell you. She's doing awesome. We're so proud of her. I was looking for Adele, but I don't see one. Let me see if I can just push this under here.
without messing up the, the design. There we go. No one will even know that's where it ended. Unless they see the mess of glue I just got on it. Ah, I'll glitter it. You won't even see it. All right, there's our second one. The pickle juice will actually help you um, hydrate and I forget what minerals are in there or what's in there, but it just helps with the shakiness and everything else. Because believe me, you get shaky. Yeah. oh Okay, I think what I'm going to do with this one, because if I go over here, it won't pull through. So, over here, I'm going to take a piece of yarn and pull it through here and then tie this to the rope. You see, before it was easy. I could have started at the end and worked my way across and it would have been okay. But now that I have things hanging on that end, I need to come up with a different plan here. There we go. All right, so here is nine. That way we're evenly spaced. Look at that, see? She's down 142 pounds. She has worked extremely hard and we are so proud of her. Aren't we, Lulu? Lulu! You listening to Mama Robin? That's what all my puppies know me as. You started this last year, didn't you, Bobby? Was it in February? I'm going to tie it one more time and then cut it. There we go. Okay. Then we have one more pom-pom to tie on. This one. And then we are done. tie it gently and then make sure I'm good. Yep, see I knew it was February. She took it upon herself to do this. And we are, we are extremely proud of her. She worked super hard all summer long when school was out, exercising, it was rough, but she did it. Okay, what do you think of my farmhouse? Well, geez, I don't have arms long enough to hold it out there. Let me see. Where can I put this? There. Maybe that'll hold it for me. <laughs> there. Isn't that cute? It's just yarn, some rope, and cardboard. What do you think? I gotta make some of these up to put in a wreath. Definitely. This has gone over my island, where my kissing ball is for right now. And then come Valentine's Day, I'm gonna decorate the bedroom. One year, I took lace curtains and used the ceiling and push pins and totally made, um, the bed enclosed. It was awesome. Thank you. Yes, she will meet. You will. You will, Donna. Ugh. The little, like, pieces from the rope. <laughs> now, if I wanted to go even further, I could even put some pink in between. Right? that look cute maybe I will I think I will add the pink in between because I think that just gives it another pop of color I'll go with the smaller one here what do you think pink or no pink There we go.
there you go super simple cardboard and yarn and pom-poms and if you want my use my pom-pom holders my pom-pom let me know because I have um, I got three packs of them because somebody in my class wants to come and do a yarn wreath and put pom-poms on it so I have to get that set up that class set up is Levon on here she snuck on and didn't tell me she was or I missed it uh oh oh no he got sick oh is he okay I was telling everybody you did awesome thank you girl we had you blessed everywhere we made little cardboard wrapped yarn hearts for our real pretty like farmhouse banner she did awesome we are so proud of her yes she is she is our hero <laughs> I know it was super scary but she did it I think I'll take this off here and then I'll take a little bit of the white yarn and attach the pink pom-poms on there oh no is that common do they like to eat lizards do you have lizards in Florida oh look at that she's saying we're good role models I think I have any tape down here to, so I can thread this through here. There we go. All right. Let's put these pink ones on here just to give it a little craziness. So let's see. So that's about the middle. Let's see if we can get a Yes, very easy to get thread the yarn through here so we can tie it on. <laughs> now when he gets sick, will will it take him long to get better? Like and will he be okay? wanted I could even put a little bow nah we're just going to do a simple little knot and trim it there we go let's put one over here put a little knot on the end so when I pull it see if it stops yeah we'll just tie it yes that's what you give them Sandy we're making a little like farmhouse banner pom-pom banner we took cardboard and we wrapped it with yarn to make the hearts. See? Just something to hang up for the holiday. We used cardboard. I showed at the beginning how to make a little pom-pom with the clover pom-pom makers. And now we're just tying on a little bit of pink to go in between the red and the white. Thank you. Yes, if any of you have animals and you don't know that, 
if you have peroxide, if they've swallowed something that will come up the same way it went down, like say they swallowed a penny or something, I wouldn't give them peroxide. Yes, this is what we were doing with those pom-poms. Um, like for instance, my Yorkies, okay? Say they ingested, say a, um, just for sake of what could happen, um, say I had an aspirin or something drop on the floor, okay? If they swallowed um, an eighth of a teaspoon, because again, Yorkies are small, it will make them throw it back up. Like if they swallowed something that was jagged, do not, do not give them peroxide because you don't want that getting stuck coming back up but you can give them a little bit of peroxide and it will, it's kind of like what Ip, Ipecac was for children. It makes them regurgitate um, and throw it back up. Like say they ingested some chocolate. If you give them peroxide, that will make them throw the chocolate back up again. Chocolate is so dangerous for, for dogs. It can instantly start shutting down their organs and everything. A little one there so let's do a little one here see I'm trying to come up with different things it's not all about wreathing okay it's about making other things too especially if you're doing craft shows you want smaller items that are sellable that are that do not cost a whole lot and and these I showed you how to make these these are awesome in a wreath look at that I mean, even if we just did the hearts and pom-poms all around, would that not look adorable? This is just something simple that you can do at home. It does not cost a lot. Or in Bobby's case, she's going to do it for her classroom. Did she not do a great job, Sandra? We are so proud of her. And, she, and LaVon is one of the designers in our group. That right there is reason enough to join our group. Because she's been holding out on us people. No problem, Teresa. Her designs are amazing. And you should see what she made in our group the other night. Oh my gosh, super simple. So you guys, I'm telling you, you're missing out and it's a new year and we have lots and lots of stuff planned for the new year. So if you wanna join us, please do. Now, how did that come out? Dang it, ouch. <clears throat> she did didn't she yet yeah, she was she was nervous it's it's nerve-wracking doing your first live shoot my first live i had to go take a lorazepam <laughs> there was no way i was gonna do it without i know right see that she has been holding out on us. Not anymore. And we got her. Nobody else does. Right, Rita? She is awesome sauce. <laughs> this is actually a needle that you use for upholstery. Yeah, it's awesome. Same with my, uh, my humongous scissors. <laughs> Sandra, you should. We'd all be there to support you. Really, once you get over the first one or two, you're fine. Seriously. But I'll tell you, our, our, our design group 
is done strictly on a Zoom call. So I'm talking to you now, and when you're on that Zoom call, I see your face and you're talking to me. It's just like a video conference call. It's amazing. All right, now we need one more, a little one. And that's what's so nice about it. If you have a question, there's not a delay. You don't have to type. Oh, well, you're special. And we love you. So, of course, we're going to be good to you. <laughs> you're having us all down. I know, right? You're so right, Dawn. She is unstoppable now. <laughs> you created a monster. A designaholic. Well, she was already a designaholic. <laughs> An awesome designaholic. I knew from the beginning her name was not Harless. <gasps> oh my gosh. She's going to do a small table. Awesome. Okay, there we go. And then we just tie this off right here. And we are done, people. And like I said, don't forget to spread the love. Go in and, and subscribe to my, my YouTube channel, please. Because if ever I say something stupid and get kicked off here, that's where you're going to find me. <laughs> All right, there is our handmade farmhouse type banner. Yes, I showed us, I showed everybody how to do this in our design group. It's um, a chunky yarn that um, AC Moore sells that they no longer sell anymore. So I'm trying to find another place to, to get it. Um, it was one that they had for their own. Um, but Dawn was nice enough. She found it in her um, AC Moore down there in North Carolina and she shipped me some. She bought it. She went and I said, give me that one. Give me that one. And then she shipped it to me because locally everybody wants to do one of these wreaths and see what I mean? What it? Oh, you could even just like tie this around or I mean, it just looks so cute. You can do anything with these wreaths. They are just so pretty. And this is just cardboard with yarn wrapped around it. Okay. So, and I don't know. I may, I may go on live again this week if I get my um, projects done. I, I got some stuff this week. How on earth did you? around it I'm not sure what that what you meant it's a miss it's an autocorrect <laughs> they're kind of limited on what they have left it's been horrible I just found it in navy blue and I need to check and find out how much was in the skeins I was buying because this skein for navy blue is going to be like $25 and I know we're near paid that at, at AC Moore. Look, you could even just thread this around here. Oh my gosh, would that look cute? Look at that. I just think these look so good on here with the gray. Join our group, Sandra. You can watch the replay 
all the uh, things we've made are all on there. Like we did this. I showed everybody how to simply do this with your printer. It's all on there. Is that a heart? Ooh, ugly on there. But yeah. It's not a braid. And like I said, we did it on a live on our in our design group. We're $19.95 a month. And we go live twice a week on there. Shh, Levon. Shh. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to head out. I got little puppies to take care of. I'll be having another live on here soon of them. They're growing and they're really growing. They're turning into little chunky monkeys. So if you have any questions, let me know. And if I've inspired you to make your own, I want to see pictures. These are beautiful. And then hopefully, yes, you need another puppy video. <laughs> Your mom sees that video, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> I'll be flying one down to Florida with my lap nanny. So again, it was just simple burlap rope with cardboard and yarn wrapped around it. Okay. All right, guys, you enjoy the rest of your evening. And like I said, keep watching. Because what I got coming up next is going to blow you away. Simple, simple, simple. And if you joined our group, Sander, you'd know how to make them. Step by step. <laughs> oh, okay. We can do that too, Levon. Alright, guys. You have a great evening. And thanks for joining and spreading the love. I really appreciate it. Alright.